uh, the Benue Sema. Representatives of major development and aid agencies, like the United Nations Human Rights Commission and the International Organization for Migration, are gathered for the Foundation Lane Ceremony of a coordination center. Welcome to the microphone, the man who has invited us here. The Benue State Governor is represented by his principal private secretary at the event, which is meant to actualize plans for a regional UN operational hub for humanitarian response. The IOM Chief of Mission to Nigeria speaks on scaling up its intervention. Based on this um, partnership, we are here to also reiterate our commitment to be behind the um, the government of Benue to provide the necessary assistance to those people. Soon we will be increasing and scaling up our activities thanks to the uh, hospitability of uh, the, the Benue SEMA. The pair then proceeds to lay the foundation for the multimedia conference hall for ease of coordination of humanitarian response in the state. At a media party afterwards, government representatives announced that the proposal for Benue to host the UN Regional Operational Hub has been approved. As a win-win for the North Central, let's have a UN hub here in Benue State. And the governor has, for North, which, which will also serve as a hub for North Central. We're communicating that with the leadership of UN. We had this just before the UN uh, former RC left. We're communicating that with the new RC who just resumed. Uh, but we will get the UN here to come and commission the hub in the shortest time, once we get the date. The governor's spokesperson further assures development partners of the administration's zero tolerance to fraud, warning that it will spare no one found culpable. We ask for percentage from development partners and donor agencies at your risk. And so far, I think everybody is very careful and they know the consequences of doing that. Fadalia is not somebody who will indulge in this kind of thing himself. And so if he's not doing that, we are all aware that any of us who attempt to do that will be in suit. Besides the resettlement plans for the over 2 million IDPs by these aid agencies, 70 families have already been selected by the IOM for resettlement in the wake of the decade-long displacement of farmers.